We are helping countries in the region now as we did in 2006 in a long war against terrorism and extremism. I stand completely behind what I said in 2006. I think the last 10 years have gone a long way to validate that we are in fact in a long war against Al-Qaeda and its associated movements and its spawned movements such as ISIS. I don't think we need to relitigate why we went in into Iraq. I think the most important issue for President Trump is what now? And I suspect his answer will be, particularly as I personally know many of his defense advisors, I think he is going to stay in Iraq to defeat Daesh. And then once Daesh is defeated, then there's an open question whether he will, as we recommended at the end of the Bush administration, whether he will leave sufficient troops to train, equip, advise beyond the time that Daesh is defeated. And will those troops be in sufficient numbers uh, to ensure that the Iraqi forces don't collapse as they did in 2014? It's not just in Syria, but I think it was the entire view of America by our allies. Our president said we will not allow Syria to cross a red line with regards to the use of weapons of mass destruction, such as chemical weapons, and then he backed away from that. If you have anything in the region, you must have reliability. You must be seen as a reliable ally. When President Obama wouldn't back Mubarak as he was being let go, President Obama wouldn't support the Syria red lines, uh, just demonstrated to the region that we're not a reliable ally. Well, I think he's been very clear. He does not necessarily want to send American troops abroad at every instance, uh, particularly in regime change. I think he's going to be more circumspect on his deployments of American troops. I think he's going to be just a little uh, slower in, and more circumspect about sending them. Since the enemy poses a threat either to our allies or to the United States of America, I don't think he will stop for a minute from deploying American troops. But he's seen a lot of the deployments over the years. After the fact, he's seen them as being a waste of blood and treasure. He's been very critical of President Obama in terms of creating a security vacuum uh, when he ordered the withdrawal of American troops from Iraq, and we've seen what happened there. So I think he will support the continued uh, operations inside of Iraq, as particular and in particular as they have to do with defeating Daesh. Uh, but I think his criteria for future interventions will be simple. Uh, if we're going to help somebody, they need to want it more than we do. They need to show support. They need to show that they've got skin in the game, and this just can't be an American affair.